So today we're gonna be doing a Hunter Seeker Amara build. Uh, and uh, we're gonna kind of be doing... It's kind of gonna be different than a normal grenade build. Um, we're gonna be doing ties that bind and indiscriminate. Uh, because obviously Hunter Seeker shots are gun damage, which means its damage can be transferred to other enemies while shooting the enemy in ties. So not only can the projectiles indiscriminate, they can also share damage from ties that bind to other enemies, which is massive. Uh, so let's do it. For the gear, we have a Crater MP5 for movement speed. And then a Guardian Angel with Urat, we're gonna be doing Urat on this build, because uh, it's kind of fun. Uh, free Radical with... hold on. Free Radical with Urat for second wins, because, you know, we're gonna be doing Urat so we can't heal with a Deathless on, so a Urat is actually gonna be beneficial for us. And then a Sellout uh, for proccing Elemental Projector for bosses. Because we don't need a Sellout for mobbing, we're gonna be doing the Atom Bomb. And then a face puncher with Urath. I don't think you really need it, but you can do it. Okay, and then for the shield, we're doing a triple adaptive revolter with action skill star anoint. Um, we take reduced elemental damage from this after being hit by an element. So, 23% uh, health and 41% resistance to the, la to the last damage type received for 5 seconds. So, we can take reduced damage. Um, with this. So for driver boots, it's actually like really good. And then a driver with plus 2 helping hands and plus 3 mindfulness. We're gonna be doing driver on this build with splash damage, splash damage radius and action skill damage. Uh, the many explosions of the Hunter Seekers, like when it hits a surface, they, they can actually also deal uh, pretty good damage, but you know, it's a small explosion, so... And it's not even that great, but it can deal some damage. We just have it mainly for the free radical also and the good angel. And actual skill damage is to increase our Tyson Bind chain damage as well. And then a phase zerker, but we don't really need that, we can just kinda of flick it off. Um and then an atom bomb deathless with radiation damage, action skill cooldown, and AoE damage. This is gonna be big because we're also gonna be utilizing the explosions to just have big red explosions because uh, they're really satisfying but for bosses we're gonna be doing an elemental projector deathless with the same passive because you know m mobs most of the time don't have mobs in their arena so uh, elemental projector is gonna be better for more damage and then for going around fast we can do a snow drift victory rush with double movement speed and area of effect damage I just forgot to change the passes on this one but I don't feel like changing them right now and for our main grenade, we're gonna be doing a Hunter Seeker, a Mitosis Hunter Seeker. I might I might do some testing if a normal one's better, but no, actually, I don't think so. I think, because uh, it shoots more projectiles, then you have more chances that end is coming at. But we have a Hunter Seeker, Mitosis in every element, except for Radiation, because we don't need that. Uh, what's funny is that a Cryo Hunter Seeker has 3 more splash radius than every other element. Uh, maybe it's because it's just cryo, but we're gonna be doing the OGT anoint on it. Because, uh, you know, we already have radiation, so we don't need to do ASC rad. Uh, we could also do another bones element, but we don't need to. We, you can just go with OGT. And then for uh, other goodies, we have the piss and a low level mesmer and a low level piss, with uh, both with the same anoint. Uh, you don't really need those, but you can do them. And if you want, for bosses, then you can do the triple sticky Hyperion grenade with the uh, while action skill is active, grenade damage is increased. Like I said, I, you don't need to do this, but you can do this for like more consistency uh, for your bosses. And then for <coughs> our skill tree, for purple tree, we're doing 5 points into trust in yourself for reduced reload, time warp, increased charge speed, the weapon swap speed. This is kind of just going to be like a normal Ganamora build, uh, but also kind of not at the same time. <laughs> and then 5 points into Heavy Rain for projectile speed and splash damage. We're also going to be using the Garden Angel for shooting after we grasp an enemy to just... To just pff, wow. Uh, to shoot the enemy inside the bubble with ties that bind so that we can clear everything with one shot if we're out of grenades. But this doesn't happen often due to more than okay Boomer. 
and for augment we're gonna be doing expedite and for blue tree we're just gonna be doing the uh, usual Ganamara skill tree except we're not specking three points into transcend uh, so we're just doing five points into do harm three into fast hands one violent tapestry five clarity or five alacrity one ascendant three from rest three laid bear three wrath one remnant and avatar um, I've already reviewed this um, blue tree a lot, so I don't need to mention this a fifth time. Um, maybe I'm gonna pause and think of the important things, if there are some that I need to mention. This affects the Hunter Seeker, this as well. Fire rate also, I think so. And then Alacrity, okay. <laughs> and those are my, uh, pretty much just the important things that this affects the Hunter Seeker. This, and maybe it's fire rate as well. And for orange tree, we're doing 5 points into anima. Because uh, we're doing a driver build, so we need the doubled dot duration for longer corrosion, for longer mindfulness, uh, for more movement speed and more consistency on our driver. 3 points into steady hands for increased weapon handling and accuracy. That's mainly going to be for the Golden Angel. I don't know if it affects the hunter seeker 1 point into infusion uh just to have it uh, this is going to be give us uh corrosion shots on a garden angel maybe even the hunter seeker but not sure needs testing maybe we'll see it during the gameplay and five points into tempest for increased elemental damage straight forward and three more shock damage illuminated fists so that we can punch with corrosion um, one point into wildfire to spike down the skill tree to get down to dread for increased gun damage after killing a grasp enemy. This is going to be mainly for the gun angel. I think this also affects the hunter seeker because you know gun damage and it's bullet shoot gun damage. So this should affect the uh, hunter seeker even though it's not going to be massive because we're doing the driver. Deep well for increased mag with elemental weapons. So like the fear article. And then three points into indiscriminate. Uh, for crazy mass clearing with the Hunter Seeker. And then Green Tree, we're doing 3 points into personal space. 4 increase damage the closer we are to the enemy. 2 points into clarity to spec down the skill tree. To get down to 5 points into helping hands for damage reduction after activating our action skill. And then 3 points into mindfulness. And to have 6 points via our class mod for a big movement speed bonus. And for our main... Element we're gonna be doing Corrosion, Augment we're gonna be doing Expedite, and Actual Skill we're gonna be doing Tested Bind. And for our Mayhem Modifiers we're gonna be doing uh, More Than Okay Boomer, um, Healy Avenger, Chain Gang slash Laser Fair, and Note the Face. I don't feel like rerolling from Pain Tolerance to something else, so I'm gonna just go with that. Um, I'm pre recording videos before going to. Uh, before Monday classes, right now, as I'm recording this, it's Monday, 12.07 p.m. And my boss is at 12.50. So I need to get this video done fast. Um, and then I need to schedule them for... Or schedule the... Uh, Melee Amora build for Wednesday, and this for Thursday. Okay, so we're gonna throw... One hunter seeker, then grasp, and then it's gonna shoot, and then it's gonna clear. Right, right here there aren't really a lot of mobs, but we can kind of still do this, and it's still gonna mass clear. Like, look at my XP growing right now. You can also use the gun angel for turret guys. Like, look, the turret guy section is already done, even though we didn't clear all the turret guys. Because that's, that's another fun fact, you don't need to kill the turret guys in order to be able to proceed into the takedown. So, so just throw- oh no, I'm gonna die. So throw as many hunter seekers as I can. And then it's gonna- how did he hit that? I knew it was gonna happen. Ash. Radiation barrels, man. Well, I just grasped nothing. Okay, so... What? How did I... Okay, there we go. 
Good shit. Get the doors open. And then we're gonna... Hunter Seeker, Grasp, Hide, and Insta Clear. And Yush. This is actually really fun. Hunter Seeker as you main gone! As you main gone! As you main gone! Gone, by the way. It's a fucking grenade that deals gun damage. I've mentioned that. But I like to call it my... The main gun of this build. See? Massive clearing. Ow. What? Yush. Huh? Anyway. Uh, for Valkyries, you don't really need to do... Actually, hold on. I'm going to do Elemental Protector anyway. Also, where's my Revolter? I just noticed. Huh? Bro. There we go. Stop doing the shocks things. Switch to Atom Bomb. Okay, I don't have Greta ties that one already. Oh, good shit. Incredible shit. Can you stop jumping around? Okay, I'm gonna just wait for the thing to end, because I don't feel like dealing with dogs right now, because dogs in games suck. What if I do this? Lol. No! Dogs really do suck, huh? In game. Holy the guy spawned instantly and I got insta wiped. This takedown really does suck, holy shit. I'll always stand by my word. This takedown sucks ass. This is like the mo this is like the mo the hardest take ever. This is a fucking flaming take. I can feel this Sahara kind of hot. Oh my god. I used to be him, but now I'm not him anymore. I might have fallen off, seriously. Oh my god. How did I not reload that? Okay, what? Lol. Don't die. No, even if Valkyries are invincible in their bubbles, Hunter Sticker Hunter Sticker is still gonna go for them. I do have the elemental protector, don't you worry. But I fucking hate Hilder, cause she is melee oriented, which means she's she needs to be close range, which means she'll always focus on me close range, which means it's a, basically like a gun and angel um, counter. It counters the gun and angel. So what if I do this? Okay, yeah, that was smart. That's gonna be Rota. And then I'm a Gunbreaker. Yush. And then I'm a throw Hunter Seeker. Grenade. Yush. And Insta Wipe. And now. The Hunter Seeker can do its funny thing, for for once. Okay, insta-clear on two Valkyries. There we go. Finally. Nyum. Yush. Grasp, wait for the second mob. And now we can... Jump off. Now we can go back to the atom bomb and a fire hunter seeker. We can explode the barrels. I missed. I don't have aim assist for barrels. Because they're not mobs. But they definitely should be fucking ray bosses in this game. Especially true mal one takedown. Okay, let's see this. There we go. Now we can just kind of throw the Hunter Seekers backwards and just let them do its thing. And now it's gonna cause epic explosions. With the Chatham Bomb. 
Don't fall off again, I swear. Oh. Oh, I'm flying. G, just spam G. Just keep spamming G. Just smash the G button. I'm emoting, I'm emoting, I'm emoting. I, can you stop emoting? How do they even do that? I'm... Um, I'm stuck. Huh? What did I do? I swear. What? Can I? Huh? Hold on, can I at least like... What? What did I even do? Like... S? S? Huh? Did I... Wait, hold on, wait. Did I really just do something like this? Did I really just somehow switch my WASD with arrow keys? Up arrow. Left arrow. Right arrow. Down arrow. What? How? Hold on, uh, how do I play like this? Uh... Can I jump? I can't... Oh my god. Uh, shh. Okay, at least I have one guy mesmered. How did I do that? I don't even know. G, just spam G and run away. Can, can somebody help me? And I just somehow cleared the bridge. Okay, so to have an easier time, I think I'm gonna just uh, use the triple sticky grenade for this. Because, like, I don't even know what's go- Did I hit- Imagine if I clear water like this. Or what if I do controller instead? Imagine. Oh my god, can you... If anybody has ever had this, then let me know how you can revert it. Because I don't want to play like this for the rest of my life. Like... What if I reset my game? Ooh. Okay, there we go. And then, to clear water quickly, then I'ma just do... Um, triple sticky. Okay, now it's actually kinda going better, cause... I've already toggled my... Speed, or sprint, I mean. But how even did I do that? Oh no, uh, shit, 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 fuck, 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 no! Jump! Jump! Chuck! I missed. No, I didn't. Yush! Yush! <laughs> wow! Um... Hold on, what if I- wait, 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 I have an idea, I have an idea, I have an idea, I have an idea. Stop it, stop it, no! Jesus Christ! I'm going back to the triple sticky, because I was gonna tie Swoten as he splits, and then I'd let the Hunter Seeker take care of both halves at once, but I didn't do that, because I- But now I'll die, because of bullshit, and now I need to deal with that- oh my god. No, never mind, uh, 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 oh my god. Also, it's the first going on in this video. How even did I do that? Uh... Okay, so... Your distributor, set box execute... Um, Kipsworth, Maggie... I can't even... And then... We just stupid. Okay, I've already done that. 
and Kakatawa and Kibsworth. Can anybody tell me how did I switch my WASD with arrow keys? I don't even know. But that was the video. I'll post the save file uh, for this build on my Discord, which I'll post the link to in the description. See you tomorrow with another video. Bye bye.